Hello everyone and welcome back to Nishma Sadio Lounge. In today's session, we will be discussing a problem with relation to operating cycle method. So before going into the problem, let us uh, understand two approaches of estimating working capital. So they are total cost approach and cash cost approach. So there is a difference between these two approaches. I will tell you that in total cost approach, we will consider all the non-cash uh, expenses as well as profit. All right, non-cash expenses means those expenses in which uh, the cash is not involved. The best example is depreciation. You are not paying depreciation anywhere, right? You are keeping uh, that fund apart in the business itself. You are not going to pay it somewhere else. So that is a uh, non-cash expense. Then profit in the sense you know what is profit. Then um, cash in cash cost, we only consider cash expenses. All right, cash expenses only considered and uh, there is no profit no profit okay for uh, so for calculating letters and so on uh, profit is not considered that means all the calculations are done on total cost basis so this is the major difference between total cost approach and cash cost approach so uh, you will get a clear understanding when we move on to a problem so let us uh, do that so this is the question so let us read it out uh, Raju Brothers Private Limited sells goods on gross profit 25% depreciation is taken into account as part of production the following info is given to you sales 2 months credit 18 lakh materials 1 month credit 4 lakh 50 thousand wages 1 month lakh 3 lakh 60 thousand cash manufacturing expense 1 month lakh 4 lakh 80 thousand administration expense 1 month lakh 1 lakh 20 thousand sales promotion paid quarterly in advance 60 thousand income tax payable in four installment one lies in next year 1 lakh 50 thousand the company keeps one month stock of raw materials and finished goods it also keeps rupees 1 lakh in cash prepare an estimate of working capital requirement on cash cost basis assuming 15 percent safety margin ignore working process so this is a typical question now let us critically analyze the question the question says that raju brothers is earning a profit of 25 percent on produce and a depreciation is also considered in the cost of production now we have sales uh, materials wages and then we have cash manufacturing expenses administration expenses sales promotion expense and income tax income tax in uh, cash cost method it is not considered all right so the profit non-cash expenses and income tax including income tax is not considered in uh, cash cost method so here this is not at all required and the questions also tell, uh, told that you have to prepare a uh, working capital uh, estimate of working capital requirement on cash cost basis so all right so uh, here there is no work in progress it is given ignore work in process so you don't have any work in progress here and uh, one more important thing is you have to keep a margin of 15% uh, safety margin all right so this is the question now let us go on to the solution part before going into the solution let us prepare some working note so first of all we have to calculate the amount of depreciation that is uh, assumed in the cost of production here one more assumption is to be noted here depreciation is ought to occur only in the factory and not uh, in the administrative expense so uh, we will calculate First of all, we have to find the sales and uh, we have to deduct the uh, gross profit from it. So sales here, it is uh, 18 lakh and it is given the question, the profit is a uh, 25%. So you have to deduct that 25% uh, of 18 lakh. So you will get 4 lakh 50 and you deduct that you will get total manufacturing cost to be 13 lakh 50 thousand. So from this, you have to deduct all the direct expenses, which includes materials and wages. So I have added up here 4,50,000, which means materials and 3,60,000 is the wages. So when you add that, you will get 18, uh, sorry, 8,10,000 and you have to deduct this amount from this total manufacturing cost. All right. So you will get how much total manufacturing expenses to be 5,40,000. So here you have reached the total manufacturing expense 5,40,000. Then 
in the question you were given cash manufacturing expense which was 4 lakh 80 thousand so from the total manufacturing expense when you deduct the cash manufacturing expense the resultant amount will be your depreciation all right first you have to take the sales from that you have to deduct the gross profit amount then you will get the total manufacturing cost that is uh, that is incurred in the factory for production then uh, then from that you have to deduct all the direct expenses direct expenses are related to which cost works cost all right so from that you have to deduct the all the direct expenses then you will get the total manufacturing expense then from that you have to deduct a uh, cash manufacturing exp expense and you will get the resultant amount that is depreciation which is 60000 now you have to uh, calculate cash manufacturing cost all right so cash manufacturing cost here already in the previous stage we have found out total manufacturing cost which was uh, 13 lakh 50 thousand that's what i have written here then from that you have to eliminate depreciation right so depreciation amount was 60000 that we already found out then you have to deduct this 60000 from 13 lakh 50 thousand then only you will get the cash manufacturing cost we have we want what we want the cash expenses alone right so we have to deduct all the non-cash expenses which includes depreciation so uh, when you deduct that from the total manufacturing cost you will get the cash manufacturing cost which is 12 lakh 90 thousand now uh, we are moving to the third working note that is calculation of cash cost of sales or total cash cost excluding depreciation so you have to find out the what is the total cost incurred for carrying out the production so uh, we already know the cash manufacturing cost which we found out in the previous stage which is 12 lakh 90 thousand so i have wrote down that then additionally you have office expenses that is administrative expenses and also sales promotion expense so when you add both those expenses to your uh, cash manufacturing cost you will get your cash cost of sale or total cash cost so uh, it will come to be uh, 14 lakh 70 thousand all right you have to note down all these uh, working note i know it is a bit uh, difficult to understand but it is not that difficult if you understand and listen carefully okay so uh, this is about the working note now let us go on to the preparation of uh, working capital estimate now moving to the statement uh, showing working capital requirement first of all we start off with the current assets and uh, here we have raw materials stock of raw materials and it was uh, amounted to be 4 lakh 50 thousand and the question it was said that it is kept in stock for about a month so 4 lakh 50 thousand into 1 by 12 so, uh, so you will get uh, 37 thousand 500 now this uh, second item is uh, finished goods finished goods you have to value at cash cost basis so the working note if you check that out you can see that your uh, total cash cost of manufacturing amounted to be 12 lakh 90 thousand so uh, and uh, finished goods, uh, goods are also kept in stock for about one month so uh, your total cash cost of manufacturing into 1 by 12 that will give you the value of finished goods so uh, when you do that you will get 1 lakh 7 thousand 500 as your uh, value of finished goods now coming to debtors, debtors are always valued at stock. Same procedure repeats here also. Here, uh, the if you check again in the working note, you can see that the total cost, cash cost of uh, the product was fourteen lakh seventy thousand cash cost. So cash cost of sales was fourteen lakh seventy thousand, and uh, the debtors uh, were allowed two months credit against in the question uh, against sales. It was given two months credit. So uh, that means debtors were allowed two months credit. So fourteen lakh seventy thousand into two by twelve that will give you two lakh forty five thousand. That will be the value of debtors. Then uh, also we had uh, advance payment of sales promotion expense quarterly advance. So uh, sales promotion amount was sixty thousand and it was advanced for uh, one quarter. So uh, into one by four that will give you fifteen thousand then in the question it was also said that we also keep uh, raju brothers also kept a cash balance of one lakh with them so you have to add that cash balance here 
uh, then if you take the sum total you will get uh, the total value of current asset to be 5 lakh 5000 now let us go on to uh, current liabilities part we had uh, creditors for purchase of raw materials and the materials amounted to be 4 lakh 50000 and we were allowed a credit for a period of one month so 4 lakh uh, 50000 into 1 by 12 that will give you 37500 then uh, coming to wages outstanding it was outstanding for uh, one month again all the uh, expenses were in due for one month so you can see it is uh, 1 by 12 1 by 12 1 by 12 because uh, all the expenses were in due or in lag of one month so uh, wages it was uh, 3 lakh 60 thousand and 3 lakh 60 thousand into 1 by 12 that is due for one month so 1 by 12 that will give you 30 thousand rupees then uh, we had cash manufacturing expense that was also due for one month and uh, its amount was 4 lakh 80 thousand so 4 lakh 80 thousand into 1 by 12 that will give you 40 thousand administration expenses it was uh, 1 lakh 20 and it was also in due for one month so 1 lakh 20 into 1 by 12 that will give you 10,000 you don't have much problem with the liabilities uh, current liabilities part only you have uh, trouble with the working note that is calculation of depreciation and the total uh, cash cost of sales so there you have uh, you will have some confusions and after that it everything will go smoothly and also remember to consider uh, the total cash cost while calculating the value of debtors and also uh, take uh, the total cash manufacturing cost while considering finished goods only those things you have to note in this question okay so uh, this uh, when you take the total of uh, current liabilities i think you will get uh, a total of 1 lakh 17000 all these will constitute 1 lakh 17,500 because 500 is also here so 500 so that will be your total liabilities part and when you deduct uh, this uh, sorry uh, this from uh, this 5 lakh uh, 5,000 you will get net working capital to be 3 lakh 87,500 then uh, you are also asked to keep 15% safety margin so uh, you have to consider 15% margin of this net working capital okay so you have to find a 15 percentage of this net working capital which is 3 lakh 87,500 so you will get uh, it as 58,125 and what you have to do is you have to add these two figures only then you will get the required working capital amount which is 4,45,625. So this is all about this question. I hope it is clear to you. And if you like this video, please like and share it to your friends. And do subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.